So what happens when you take a cheap filter, ruin it, and put it on your camera? Hey guys, Tim Go here at Fireborn Media, and I recently saw a video by In Your Face where Faye literally puts shrink wrap on her camera and covers it in petroleum jelly to get some admittedly incredible shots. Link to her video is in the description. You can see her final shots on Instagram. You should check it out. I've been looking into various filters to create some interesting looks with my video content, and Faye's video got me thinking. Call me a snob, but as much as I love her results, I just couldn't bring myself to show up to set with my camera wearing something that I packed my lunch in the day before. What would my clients think? Wait, how much am I paying you? So I opted to splurge a little more than Faye and buy myself the cheapest filter I could possibly find so we could do a little test. Now I found this filter for $12 on Amazon. It's a basic UV filter that is really designed to just, <laughs> hi, just protect your lens from dust and kids and stuff. Now, I could just throw some petroleum jelly on this and call it a day, but I wanted to take this a little further. So, I went to the hardware store and got myself some sandpaper, and I know what you're thinking. Tim, are you crazy? Are you gonna sandpaper that filter? And absolutely yes. I'm gonna sandpaper the filter. Like the petroleum jelly in phase video, a scratched up surface in front of your lens is gonna create a certain effect. And if your sandpaper is fine enough, the scuffs that you create in the surface of the glass become areas that end up diffusing light. And it becomes a hazy, glowy effect that, that is theoretically similar to smothering your lens with petroleum jelly and or when your toddler grabs your camera after eating rotisserie chicken. So to do this, I got myself some super fine 1500 grit sandpaper and some scuff pads, I guess, that uh, you used to clean off pans and whatnot. The sandpaper was about $1.80 at the hardware store, and this I had on hand somewhere for whatever. So without further ado, we're gonna take these things and try to beat up my lens a little bit. So I'm sort of just uh, scuffing up the, uh, the outer edge of the lens and leaving the middle of the lens sort of clear. Ish. I want to do this in a random pattern so that you don't get like really clear streaks happening across the image. And it seems to be working. So I grabbed myself some, yeah, 320 grit sandpaper. That's a lot more aggressive actually. So we're going to take a look at this and try to Try to create some, some effect here. So I gotta say, it's kinda cool. <laughs> I like it, I like it. So definitely, I mean, definitely, shining into the light here you can see on the on the edges as i as i move the light to the edges especially since i i really focused on the peripheral as i move the light to the edges you really get that haze effect i don't know it it's definitely what i would call a dirty frame um it's not clean whatsoever however i think this is gonna be kind of interesting to, to see what kind of footage, especially with this job I've got coming up tomorrow, um, what kind of look that's gonna create. So I'm gonna throw this on my camera tomorrow. I've got a barbershop thing and uh, I'm gonna get cut it together with this video. And we're gonna take a look at the footage of that and you guys can tell me what you think in the comments below. So um, I'm gonna work on this a little more uh, and, and try to hone the look a little bit, but this is basically how I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm destroying my lens filter so that I can create an interesting effect. So I've got the 
the filter on my camera now and uh, we're at the barber shop. We're gonna shoot some video. We're gonna check out and see how this filter all messed up and everything as, as I did it, um, how it all turns out in the end. So I got my first shots through this and it's, it's looking pretty awesome, guys. Um, we've got some colored lights going on here. Uh, we've got Chris cutting hair and uh, check out the, the bloom and everything on, on those lights, especially up in the corner here. I'm liking it. I'm liking what I did to this, this lens to, uh, to completely ruin it. Well, I've got a rough cut of that video that we took at Signature Trends Barbershop, and guys, the footage is sweet. I am super happy with the results. I shot with the filter on my 2470Z lens the entire shoot. We threw down some colored lights and everything had a beautiful bloom to it. It really set the mood and atmosphere I was hoping to capture. And in fact, I had a smoke machine on set all ready to go and I never hit it once because the results from this filter were already setting that mood. Is it perfect? Well, it's a sanded down $12 filter. What would be your guess? If I was being picky and critical, I'd say that because of the directionality of my sanding strokes, you do end up getting some directional streaking in the bloom. So it's not a perfect one-to-one -one haze filter, but honestly, do I mind it that much? No, I really don't. It has its own character and love it or not, it's a $12 filter. Can you really beat it? But honestly, can you? Well. I'm gonna see if we can in future videos. I've got some fresh ideas to ruin more filters and get some sweet DIY footage in the future. If you thought this video was cool, hit that like button and share it somewhere. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified. Tell me in the comments what you thought of the footage. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Were you indifferent? Have you ever DIY'd your own gear? Also, the full Signature Trends video will be dropping on Fireborn Media, so head over there and subscribe so you don't miss it. That's all today, guys. Until next time, get out there and create with purpose. What if I had just come all the way down to here and we talk at, at table level? How does that look? I don't even know, Titus. I don't even know. Uh-huh, okay, all right. I wish I had some help.